Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a bunch of cherries. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large ones, the size is 8cm wide by 8cm or 3 inches wide by 3 inches. The medium cherries crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook are 5 centimetres wide by 5 centimetres or 2 inches wide by 2 inches. These small cherries crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook are 4 centimetres wide by 4 centimetres or 1.5 inches wide by 1.5 inches. I'll be crocheting mine in Katona cotton today so the size will be between the medium and the large ones. I've added some of these small ones to some earring hooks to make earrings and I've also added these small cherries to this scarf. It's made using my Eva scarf pattern and I've attached some of my other cherry appliques too. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 115 hot red and 515 emerald. I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends, a sewing needle to stitch it together. I've got some filling, scissors, a 2.5mm crochet hook and if you are going to add your cherries to earrings you'd need earring hooks like this. Now I'm going to start on the cherries, they both work the same. I've got my 115 the hot bread and I start with a magic loop. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. I put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle and then I work one chain. For row one we work six single crochet into our circle. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put our hook in through the circle and bring back a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through the two loops. I need five more single crochet into my circle. And then we pull our circle tight, so we take hold of the tail and ease it in as tight as we can. And that's row one complete. I'm not going to join, but if you'd prefer you could join. For row two I'm just going to start working into the first stitch. For row two I'm going to work two single crochet into each stitch. I'll have 12 stitches. And I'm going to be working over the top of this tail to hide it in my work. So we work two single crochet into each stitch. Now that's row two done. I've got two single crochet into each stitch. For row three, we start with two single crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into the following stitch. And we repeat that five more times. So two single crochet into the first stitch.
and one single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that five times. We'll have 18 stitches. That's row 3 complete. For row 4 we work one single crochet into each of the 18 stitches. So one single crochet in each of the next 18 stitches. For row 5 we work one single crochet into each of the next 18 stitches. Now that's row 5 worked. We're going to turn our work through to the other side now and we're going to start decreasing. So for row 6 we're going to work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in the following stitch. And we're going to repeat that five more times. A joined single crochet over the next two stitches and one single crochet in the following stitch five more times.
Now that's to the end of row 6 done. Now we're going to put our filling into the cherry. To add the filling, I just roll it in little balls and then just push it in with the end of the crochet hook. And I fill it just to about the top there. And then for the last row, I just crochet, join single crochets over each stitch. And I'll fit one more in there. And I've joined them all together so I fasten off. I leave a bit of a tail to weave in. And that's the first cherry. The second one has worked the same. We start with a magic loop and work one chain and we work six single crochet into our circle. and we pull our circle tight. For row 2 we work 2 single crochet into each stitch. We'll have 12 stitches and I'll work over the tail again. For row 3 we work 2 single crochet into the next stitch and 1 single crochet into the following stitch 6 times. We'll have 18 stitches. So 2 single crochet into the next stitch and 1 into the following stitch 6 times.
For row 4, we work one single crochet into each of our 18 stitches. For row 5, we work one single crochet into each of the 18 stitches. Now I'm going to turn my work in the other way. So I just push it through and I'm going to start decreasing. For row 6 we work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches and one single crochet in the following stitch six times. We'll have 12 stitches. So a joined single crochet over the next two stitches and one single crochet into the following stitch and repeat that five more times. A joined single crochet over the next two stitches and one single crochet into the following stitch. And that's row 6 complete. Now I'm going to add my filling. And for the last row, we just work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches till we have no stitches left.
and we fasten off leaving a bit of a longer tail and when you weave in the end just fill in any gap at the top. So that's the two cherries done. Now for the stems and the leaf we're going to be using our 515 the emerald. For the first stem we leave quite a long tail to stitch it to the cherry and we start with 10 chain. and fasten off. For our second stem we also leave a long tail and we start with 8 chain And we join it to the first stem, the last three stitches. We can either use a slip stitch or a single crochet. First slip stitch, we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And then just slip, slip stitch into the last two. You could use a single crochet if you'd prefer. It's just a bit fiddly. And then we fasten off. And that's the stems done. When you weave in the ends, leave these two to stitch it to the cherries. Now I've got a front and a back for the leaf so I'll be making two parts. We start with nine chain We work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook, one single crochet in the next chain and one half double crochet into the following chain. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. So one double crochet into each of the next two as well. And then one half double crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last chain and work two chain and then slip stitch into that last chain. Then we're going to work into the back loop of our chain. We work one half double crochet into the first back loop, then one double crochet into each of the next three stitches, one half double crochet into the next stitch, a single crochet into the next one and slip stitch into the end
Now for one of my leaves I'm going to fasten off with a longer tail to stitch the leaves together and to stitch it to the stem and if I'm stitching it to earrings or something else I'll use the longer tail. So I'll fasten off this one with the longer tail. Now the other leaf has worked the same. I start with nine chain. I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. One single crochet into the next chain. One half double crochet into the following chain. And then one double crochet into each of the next three chain. A half double crochet into the next one and slip stitch into our last chain. We work two chain and slip stitch into the last chain again. Then work one half double crochet in the back loop of the next stitch and one double crochet into each of the following three stitches. One half double crochet into the next stitch. A single crochet into the following stitch. And slip stitch into the next stitch. And fasten off. And that's the second leaf. Now I'll weave in the ends that need to be woven in and I'll be back and we'll put it together. There's my pieces. I've got the two cherries, the stem and the two leaves. The first thing I do is attach the end of the stems just at the top of each of the cherries. So I'll do that and I'll be back. The next thing we do is stitch the two leaves together. We put the wrong sides together and then just stitch around the edge and then stitch them to the top of the stem just in about there and if you're going to be using it on something else you would use the rest of the green cotton to stitch it to your article or the earring so I'll stitch the leaves together and the leaves to the stem and I'll be back to show you the finished cherries and there's a finished bunch of cherries. The size is six and a half centimetres wide by six and a half centimetres or two and a half inches wide by two and a half inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Patreon and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.